In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a still concert photo like the one on your screen right now and give it a 3D, 360 perspective. This technique could be used for an infinite amount of projects, but two that come to mind that it would really work for is spicing up a festival after movie or an artist recap video. To begin, I have that still photo in my project panel, and I'm just going to drag that onto my composition menu to create a new composition that's the same size of the photo. Now in order for this to work, we're going to have to create a new camera layer. So first, let's make sure the composition or layers panel are highlighted by simply clicking on either of them. Then go to layer, new, camera, and then press OK. We can leave all the default settings. Next, we'll want to go to the effects panel and search for an effect called CC environment. It will be in the perspective folder. And when I click and drag this onto our photo, you'll notice that it will zoom into the photo, but that's because it's using the camera perspective. And if I hide the camera layer by clicking on this eye symbol on the left-hand side, nothing even pops up in the composition. But for this to work, we'll need it enabled because it will allow us to map out the photo into the spherical 3D world that we're creating. In order for us to really see what's going on, we're obviously going to have to zoom out a little bit. So make sure your photo is selected and then head to the effect controls panel where you'll see the lens distortion effect. Increase the value until you get the full image back into frame. And you'll notice if you keep increasing the value further and further, you'll see the distortion of the photo that the effect created. But if we zoom in to the point where we don't see the heavily distorted parts of the photo, what we can do then is use the horizontal pan effect. And we can pan around the image in a full circle motion. Pretty cool, right? We've taken the still photo of the stage and crowd and completely transformed it into an immersive 3D world. Now, in order to create a video out of this motion, like you saw in the beginning of this video, we'll need to keyframe the horizontal pan effect. To do this, make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline and click these arrows to collapse the effects that were added to the photo. To create the first keyframe, click the stopwatch icon next to horizontal pan. Now you can move the playhead forward however far we want, and then adjust the horizontal pan effect however you want as well. In this example, we'll do a full 360. And when we drag the playhead back to see a playback of what we've created, you'll see that the video does a full 360 from the first keyframe to the next. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. Once you've got your video composition ready to go, hop over to the video on the screen now to learn how to export your work in Adobe After Effects. I'll see you there.